Okay, often in ClickUp, you'll need to see all of your own tasks, what you need to do and when you need to do it. So there's two ways of doing that. Uh, one is with filters and views that I'll show you now, uh, and the other one I'll show you in the next video. So in order to create a view that shows all of your tasks and also other to-do items, uh, we need to be a high enough level to see where those could be. Um, so the easiest way to do this is just to go to the everything level. So it's going to pull in all the tasks across the whole workspace. So it's everything that you could possibly need to do, at least it's in task form. So the first thing we'll do is create a new view. Here I'm going to use a list view because I like them. I'm going to call it my tasks. And the key thing is to make it personal. These are going to be your tasks, so no one else needs to see this view. It's only going to be useful for you. And by making it personal to you, it's not going to clutter up anyone else's view bar. If you are on the unlimited plan or below, uh, you can make a view like this that's shared. Okay. Now the first thing we want to do is filter down to just my tasks. So we could do this by turning on me mode, uh, but if we do that, it's going to follow us around. And if we later kind of turn it off because we don't need it, perhaps in this space, and then come back to our view, uh, it's going to be turned off. It's a personal filter. So what we need to do is turn it on for this view only. It's the way we do that is go to the name of the view, the three dots, and default to me mode. So each time we come to this particular view, it'll default to me mode. And then when we leave it, it turns me mode off again. So that's what we want. So here we can see all the tasks that are assigned to me. We can also see tasks that have other items like comments, subtasks, and checklists that are assigned to me. So this task has a subtask that's assigned to me, even though the task itself is not. Uh, you can see a couple here with comments assigned to me. If I were to unassign myself, it would stay in this view. And that's most of what we need to do. So from here, we just need to organize it in whichever way suits us best. So it's really common to group by uh, due date to see you know, what's coming up first. You can see here straight away, I've got a task that's overdue, I need to go into that first. Um, or if you prefer some other grouping, uh, you could sort by due date as well. It's a nice idea. That works well as well. Grouping by none is particularly good if you want to kind of condense the list so you don't have these big uh, grouping headers. If you have tasks you're responsible for that aren't actually assigned to you, maybe you're a manager or you're just overseeing things, you might have to get a little bit more creative with filters. So the key thing is what identifies those tasks. Perhaps they're in a certain location, probably pretty common. Perhaps they have a certain custom field value or they're in a certain status in a certain location. Um, and you can kind of build some filters that match that. So in that case, we wouldn't turn on uh, default to me mode, which kind of builds some filters that, um, that match. So let's say that uh, you're responsible for anything that's in branding that happens to be in a certain status of review. So you're reviewing all the branding work. So that might be your My Tasks view. And you can have a separate one that is just using the default to me mode option for extra tasks. And you can switch between those two views. Make sure to save that so that when you come back to it, it'll um, have those same settings. Okay, so that's the first method of finding all the tasks and to-do items that you're responsible for in ClickUp. Before you go, I've got something for you. After using ClickUp for a while, you'll find that it starts to get cluttered, hard to use, and things can start falling through the cracks, even if you set it up really well. And that's nobody's fault, it just happens. Cars need checkups to get them running smoothly, and so does your ClickUp. What I have for you is the instruction manual on how. It's called the ClickUp Checkup, and it's a checklist of the things you need to do every one to three months that will prevent a whole swath of issues um, that start cropping up after you've been using ClickUp for about a year or so, sometimes sooner. So with it is a training video where I go through each of the checks myself so you can see exactly how I do it and why. A PDF with the checklist and quick reference instructions. And finally, a ClickUp task template. So you can instantly import all that directly into your ClickUp, have it recur each month or quarter um, with the checklist ready to go. Click the link in the description to get it now and prevent the headache of having the clarity you wanted from ClickUp turn into confusion. I'll see you on the inside.